Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is JP, and I'm going to be giving you my sports picks for this upcoming NFL season. I'll try to keep up to date with uh, each week and post my analysis and give a, a rough idea of what I expect will happen. Obviously, the NFL is a, is a league full of uh, opportunity and randomness, so it is difficult to predict, but I, I figured this would be fun activity to do, give me something extra to, to to enjoy while I watch the games myself. So for tonight, opening night, kickoff tonight, the Kansas City Chiefs are at home uh, celebrating their Super Bowl victory facing the Detroit Lions. Detroit is up and coming. A lot of people have them potentially winning their division this year. They're expected to make the playoffs. So for the first time in a long time, they have some expectations coming, coming from their fan base and organization. So uh, the Chiefs sometimes do play with their food. I will say that last year they, they had a Monday night game where they actually had some trouble with Oakland or the Las Vegas Raiders, and we'll see we'll see how they come out. Uh, Travis Kelsey, it's still undetermined if he's going to play tonight. Chris Jones obviously is still holding out in hopes for a contract to his liking. And then on the other hand, other side of the ball, you got Detroit. Jared Goff leading the way. Uh, Dan Campbell, gritty coach, you know, I'll never forget how he, he called the play calls down the stretch in that Green Bay game last year to prevent Green Bay from making it to the postseason. So I, I could see this being a pretty high-scoring affair. A lot of times with the opening kickoff games, defenses are still struggling. Uh, it can go both ways, though. Sometimes receivers have trouble linking up with quarterbacks. you got some new faces, new coaches. It can take a little bit to get your, your rhythm down both on both sides of the ball. So I, I can see some sloppy play early on, but because um, the preseason really doesn't doesn't prepare you for what regular season is like. So I could see it being a, a fairly high-scoring affair. I think what is the opening spread? I think it is like 53.5 points. I, I would take the over on that. I think uh, I think the over on that is a safe bet. The Chiefs are favored to win by four and a half points. And just to give you an idea, I, I looked into their wins last year. Now, granted, it was last year. Every year is different. They, In their victories, they won by a margin of victory, just a little under 10 points a game. So they had some close calls, but they also had some games that were not so close. I could see this game being a victory in the Chiefs' favor, anywhere from seven to 10 points. I'm looking at a final score of maybe 34-27. 37-27, somewhere in that ballpark. So I do think the over will hit, and I think the Chiefs will win. I, I do think the Lions could keep it close. I, I could very well see the Lions uh, tied or leading by a slight margin at halftime. Uh, it's just really difficult to bet against Patrick Mahomes in an opening kickoff game where everybody's going to be watching, even without Travis Kelsey. You know, last year the Chiefs moved on from Tyreek Hill and, you know, I, I, for one, was thinking their offense might downgrade a bit. They might regress. But it actually probably made their offense even better because then it forced Patrick Mahomes to really utilize his weapons and incorporate other guys. They have, you know, a great running back duo, Pacheco and Edwards, Clyde Hilaire. I think, I think they're still going to be plenty effective. Uh, Patrick Mahomes always puts the ball where it belongs. I, I could see I could see the Chiefs still putting up a lot of points, and you know with Chris Jones out, you know the Chiefs won't generate quite the pass rush that they normally would. The Chiefs are not known for their defense to begin with; they kind of have a bend but don't break type of defense. And uh, that that uh, I do think the Lions will get their scores. I think they will be able to do it, but it's just hard to trust that Jared Goff is going to pull this game out. If he does, all all the I'll tip my cap to him, but. If I were if I were to pick a side, it's definitely got to be Kansas City tonight. I think it'll be close. I don't think it'll be a laugher, but I think points will be scored. I think I actually feel better about the points than I do the spread, just because you know sometimes you get a a late field goal or a late score can sometimes um, ruin ruin the spread. So for a recap, I got the Chiefs covering the spread, and I have the over in points. We'll see what happens. I hope we have a great season.